Okay, let's talk about where all the various wires are connected and the ribbon cables are connected to the digital board. The first one in the upper left, right there, that's the one that goes over to the analog board, which is right over here. Okay, the one just below that, right here, is the one that goes over to the disk drive. The smaller one just below that, right here, that's the one that goes over to the patch select buttons and the wheels, like the modulation wheel. The one below that, right here, that's the one that goes over to the key bed itself. The one below that on the left side is for SCSI. I don't have anything connected there because I don't have SCSI on this one. And the last one, lower left, that goes over to the jack board. You know, that's the one here with all the inputs and outputs and so forth. Okay, and then over on the right side of the digital board, upper right, right there, that's the one where the power goes in. One just below that is the one that goes over to all the various I.O. buttons and the display itself. Those are all the connections for the digital board. To remove this, you remove four screws along the top, and then there's a certain number of little plastic standoffs. I think five of them. You squeeze them with a the needle-nose pliers, and then you can pull up on the board, and that's how you're going to remove it.